Hi there. Welcome to another session with the Dental Advisor. Today's topic is the rubber dam. Uh, specifically, how to place a rubber dam for a single tooth, uh, let's say for example a molar or a root canal. What I have in front of me is the rubber dam frame. The frame is kind of curved to follow the curve of the jaw and uh, your first step is to place this rubber dam material onto the frame. Now this rubber dam material consists of a glossy surface as well as a dull surface. Now the dull surface should be facing you as the operator whereas the glossy surface should face the patient. The first step is to place the rubber dam like so across the frame and now begin to secure it by pulling, pressing against one of those little pokey tines and then releasing. You'll see that it secures by itself. You don't actually have to. I've seen a lot of students wanting to uh, poke this uh, right through the rubber dam. You don't have to do that. Just pull, stretch it across, release and you're done. Now do the same procedure for the bottom two times. There you go. All right. Um, don't stretch the material too tight at this point. This is so that the rubber dam can actually flex. And what you're looking for is about uh, roughly two inches of flex. Take your rubber dam punch. If you're doing a molar, take it to the largest hole, which is there. You, know, you can just turn this around and choose which hole you want. And then proceed to make a punch hole roughly in the bank center of the frame, slightly skewed to the side of the tooth that you're treating. So just imagine you've got the four quadrants here and let's say you're treating a right side lower molar, then since this is the center point, you'd make your hole slightly skewed right and that's about it. You don't really require a template. Now the only way um, the rubber dam punch can approach the center of this uh, frame is through the open end and what I want to do is to make a little punch hole slightly skewed and uh, What I did right now was made three holes and this helps the rubber dam not tear when I stretch it across the clamp. It's up to you if you want to use one hole or two holes or three holes. The clamp that I use is a winged clamp like this. These extensions are the wings. Now the wings help in securing this clamp. Your next step is to thread this clamp into this hole that you've created and you do so First by placing one wing into the hole and then holding it from behind with your thumb and whatever finger that you can use on the other side and then stretch the rubber dam and pass the hole around the other wing and then you're done. To secure The next step is to take a rubber dam forceps and place it into the holes that are there on the rubber dam clamp. As you compress the arms of the forceps, notice that the jaws expand. All right? And this little metal piece that moves around is a lock, which means that if you hold it vertical and you compress, and release. Because of this lock, the jaws are going to stay apart until you release the lock. There you go. And I compress. Lock's done. And there you have it. Now all we need is a patient. And I have one patient right here. And the patients voluntarily allowed me to use one of his lower teeth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the right lower molar 
and observe as I go around the tooth. Release the lock. Get done. Take a probe. Ease the rubber dam over the wings. One and two. So now what this has done is rubber dam goes around the tooth nicely and doesn't allow saliva seepage from here. Your final step is to secure these tines. So again, stretch, release, stretch, release, stretch, release, and there you have it. Rubber dam placement or a root canal. Very simple, very quick. Enjoy. If you have any questions, do please drop in a line. Um, you can use the comment section to say whatever you want. If you want any particular kind of demonstration, do let me know and I'll see if I can do that for you. All right, so signing out until we meet again. The Dental Advisor. Goodbye.